Hello Zimbabwe. My name is uh, Mudimu Jivas from Mudimu Law Chambers. I'm the lawyer for Prophet T. Freddy. Uh, the reason why I'm here is that I want to put the record straight about what happened, which is concerning Prophet T. Freddy. It's common cause that uh, Pro Prophet T. Freddy reported a case of extortion against, I think, it's Rutendo, uh, a ZBC presenter. And uh, I think she's on bail. And uh, we don't want to divulge more about what is happening before the courts because the matter is still pending before the courts and investigations are still ongoing. There are so many questions which are being raised, which uh, I think for the public court is important. Number one, I think there was an address which was done by Chief Chukwaka yesterday, which was concerning what happened at his homestead when he summoned Prophet Tifredi. First of all, we need to understand that according to Prophet Tifredi, Chief Chukwaka is also one of the accused persons because that's where his initial extortion started. He reported that uh, when he was advised to come to Chief Chikwaka, is what uh, Chief Chikwaka confirmed that he came there, and upon being advised by one of the police officers that there is extortion which, needs to, which is uh, taking place, he returned and he was stopped at the roadblock at Juru, wherein uh, one const uh, inspector judge, as well as Chief Shkwaka, came and forcefully took him to his homestead. What happened there is still being investigated. But it's common cause that Chief Shkwaka indicated that there were some police officers there. But he indicated to the public that he summoned or he called Prophet Tifred together with Rutendo, because he's the uncle of Rutendo, trying to resolve their issues. We don't know why he called the police if he was resolving the issues as Sekuru. We don't know why the police was there. But he indicated that there was an allegation of rape. That's why. Uh, he called uh, this police officer, so he wanted this police officer to hear if there is a rape case, maybe for them to arrest uh, Prophet Tifred. We did not get more information from Chief Shikwaka on what happened with the police officers after their meeting. Why they didn't arrest uh, Prophet Tifred, that is if there was any allegation of, of rape. We are only told by Prophet Tifred that there was an agreement which was reduced into writing by one a judge who is also a police officer. We don't know why, if there was a rape case, as he's indicating, why they did not open a Sierra at the police station, why the murder was not reported at the police station, why they th thought maybe the best way is to bring the police officers as well as the uh, Prophet Tifred at his homestead instead of maybe reporting the matter at, uh, at the police station. So, in other words, uh, at the end of the road, the conclusion is fish. We don't know why everything was happening at his homestead in the presence of the police officers. Now, going to the uh, matter before the courts, I think several things happened, which is also on the uh, social media which led uh, to t uh, Prophet Tifredi to report the matter. It's not uh, in dispute that uh, a motor vehicle, which is a Benz, which was uh, actually ret uh, retrieved from Rutenda's homestead, was given to Rutenda by uh, Prophet Tifredi after the extortion. It's not uh, in dispute that there's also one who is uh, saying is a brother to to Rutendo, who called Prophet Tifredi, requesting him to pay $20,000 in 
in two hours, failure, they were going to report a, a rape case. So their weapon, I think, they knew very well that uh, Prophet Tifred is a, is a public figure and uh, maybe is, is a prophet. So his, the weakness is he doesn't want to go to the public. So they were extorting money. They were extorting material things from uh, Prophet Tifred in several ways and at several times. That's what led then Prophet Tifred to go and report the matter to the police station. Thank you. Um, Prophet Tifred and Rutendo, uh, were they in a relationship? What led Rutendo to start extorting uh, from um, the Prophet? According to the to Chief Chukwaka, since he's the one who was uh, handling this issue, he indicated that they were in a relationship. That's why at one point he said, which means they were in a relationship, according to him. And uh, if they were in a relationship, according to the papers uh, uh, in course, I think Prophet Tifre did at one point wanted to quit the relationship. That led now to these squabbles. So to whoever was told, there, is, there was a relationship, especially when you, when you pick it from what the was saying that surely there was a relationship and at one point he indicated that I want you to stop this this relationship should, should stop yes so did uh, the prophet manage to uh, end the relationship is it over now the relationship was over and the, that's why the, 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 there is this uh, demand I think maybe the other part was failing to stomach the the pain of maybe stopping this relationship. But if you heard Chief Shkwaka's uh, versions well, he said there was a relationship we, I, which I told them to stop it. And he indicated that at one point again, she called him telling that they are also having some problems. And he said, why are you t keep telling me about Freddy when I told you way back that you should stop that relationship? So it's clear from the, that vision that these people were in a, in a relationship. And maybe this is the consequence of having such relationships. And according to Ritendo, she wanted to uh, expose uh, Prophet Freddy and also reporting uh, complaining about rape charges. When they were in a relationship, did Prophet Fred not see that something is fishy from this, uh, uh, from my partner? I can't comment on, on, on whether he, he actually uh, saw the indicators, but uh, I think we maybe when, when, when one uh, decides to end the relationship, maybe the other part may not be comfortable with that. But what is on the record is after that, there were some demands and some threats. You understand where, where I'm coming from? There were some demands and some threats. Surely, if you were talking of rape, rape is a serious uh, allegation. I want you to understand this. Rape is a serious allegation. And um, there's a lawyer who will tell you that it's actually a third schedule offense. It's in the bracket of uh, murder, robbery. It's, it's, it's a serious offense, and it's not something which one can say, if I hear that my next door was raped, we just ignore. Especially, let's, let's, let's take it from the version of Chief uh, Chukwaka. Let's assume he, uh, Rutendo told her about the rape. The first port of call was to report to the police Let's assume she decides not to report the, to the police. He has the right also to go and report to the police because he is the very person who was told about the, the rape. So if he is the custodian of the law, as he is saying, he should protect everyone, including the relatives. He should have reported the matter to the, to the police and not try to blanket the, the matter. There are so many organizations in Zimbabwe, who protects uh, women, especially in, 
in cases of rape. Nothing from those organizations which we heard about. There is no uh, report from any police station to say, Prophet Tifre, do we want to hear because there's a rape charge. That's why we are saying this, this was a weapon which was being used for extortion. And surely we are talking of someone who is a, a radio presenter. She's intelligent. Someone who is uh, actually people look up to her, especially when we are talking of, of these uh, cases of rape. She's the one who should actually give alarm, assisting other people. So by not reporting to the police, if surely there was a rape, then there's more to it. Not only that, these people were working together at ZBC. After the visit of uh, uh, Chief Shkwaka's uh, homestead, these people, uh, Prophet Tifred was a, a presenter there, Rutend was a presenter there. One minute away from them, they, they are police officers. And, and let's not forget this alleged rape. When did it took place? According to Chief Shukwaka, he said last year in November. Since last year in November, well, it's now one year. She was quiet about the rape. She never reported the rape. If she told someone, was there any report which was made? Then that's when Prophet Tifred is saying, these people are extorting from me. And it's not in dispute that a car was recovered from her. Actually, that car, she, was, she, she used it even to go to, to, to ZBC. She removed the place. I don't know for, for what reason. You understand where I'm coming from? And why was this brother of, of her calling Tifred to pay 20000 giving him uh, two hours? That's pure extortion. So for the, for, 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 uh, the case of rape, surely as a lawyer, it's something which is uh, sensitive. It's not a small, a, small, a small thing. And it's a big allegation which we need to, to take seriously. And I believe also Chief Chikwaka doesn't have jurisdiction to hear rape cases. He doesn't have that jurisdiction. Let's assume he, he, he heard about it. The first part, of course, to go and report to the, to the police. According to his jurisdiction, he can't hear the, a matter of rape. And he can't decide for the police to hear the matter and go away and maybe say, I'll call these people for another day so that maybe you can arrest him or what. No, 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 no. That's, it doesn't open like, uh, like that. There's a procedure for that. And I think every police officer is aware of that. I challenge maybe Chief Shukwaka to assist by telling us where he reported the matter. Or maybe to, uh, to tell us where he reported the matter of rape. And let's not forget that, according, as I said, that according to the papers, Chief Shukwaka is also a, an accused person, according to, what, uh, according to the record. As well as uh, uh, Inspector Judge, he's also an accused person. So, whatever they said, it may be also a defense. It may be also a defense. But there is a matter which is before the court of extortion, wherein Prophet Tifred is complaining that Rutendo and those accomplices were extorting money. We're extorting material things from him. You understand where I'm coming from? Exactly. Maybe lastly, um, can you confirm as uh, Prophet Freddy's lawyer that was retained a member of the church and they also weighed that she was earmarked for a position in church? Probably that didn't go well with her. That led for her to extort money from him. No, from what I heard is uh, retained, even at ZBC, she was doing. Uh, sessions which has to do with the gospel and uh, also she was to be ordained as a, as, as, as a pastor not under prophet Tifred, but she was to be ordained as a, as a pastor 
and uh, let's, let's, I respect her as an individual. Uh, she's, she, she's a star as an individual. I think she just miscalculated the moves, and uh, I think uh, they could have done better. They could have done better. Both of them, they spread the gospel. They could have done better. There was no need for pushing each other to that extent, especially extorting money to that extent. And uh, they could have uh, maybe find a way, an amicable way of, of resolving the, this, th this matter without even going to the public. And I believe a lot of things happened trying to, to resolve the matter. But you know, when you're, you're calculating your things, maybe sometimes you may pick the wrong card. That's, 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 that's all I can say. So is she still going to the church and doing the studies on uh, the, the... From what I know, because there's a matter before the course. It's not in dispute uh, that Rudendo was going also to, 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 to Prophet Tifred's church. She used to go there. We don't know whether she was going there for, for the gospel or for another, for another reason. But she used to go there. And even if you ask the, the secretary, they should tell you about it. Because at one point, the secretary was also in what should by Rudendo. You understand? And at one point, I, I heard she wanted also to, you know, to, to, to do protection order against Richard. You understand where, where I'm coming from. But as for her going back now, I think she's on bail, which she, uh, she, she, she needs to abide by. And she needs not to interfere with witnesses. And I think uh, Prophet Tifred is one of the witnesses. And I don't think it's, it's wise for her to go to the church now or even to communicate with him now because she's on bail. So, I'm going to That's correct. That's correct. The matter is still before the course. The matter is being investigated. The matter is pending before the course. And that's why we, you know, there's nothing much about it. There's nothing much about it. That's correct vision. And the, if the courts have to see what's happening, they will take whatever judgment they are going to take. Chief Chicago yesterday said, the Prophet Tifred is bitter because uh, his contract was terminated with ZPC. So, in the process, he's trying to fix Rutendo, coming up with uh, these extortion allegations. That's why I told you that Chief Shkwaka is an accused person. You are failing to understand that when he said, I summoned these people to come to my homestead, there was no issue of termination of any contract. It was a relationship which he, was, he said he was trying to, to resolve. OK, let's assume he was, he was bitter. Where was the car recovered from? And when was the car given to Rudin? And when was this termination took place? There are a lot of questions which you need to understand. Just after the, she demanded the car, day after, she, request, she demanded 20,000. You understand where I'm coming from? According to, the, to, 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 to what was reported. And the brother also, that's when the brother, the so-called brother, uh, gave him two hours to make sure that he pay that 20,000. So I, I, don't, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know where this vision of termination is coming in between the so-called relationship between the two. And I don't think the return to have the power to terminate uh, the contract for uh, Tifred. She doesn't have that power. There's something unclear to me, uh, the issue of uh, three courts. Uh, Chief Skoka says they, they came to his court as, as this place as, as, as a secure for, for return. But then I heard somewhere that, that, that the Chief Skoka was demanding three courts. Three courts. Whatever. That's why that's that's why there is this issue of extortion. There's it's not only three goals. It is it's mentioned that he requested fifteen thousand and three goals. And according to him, he said that he didn't have jurisdiction to hear Prophet Tifred as well as 
this lady because they are not under his, his jurisdiction. You understand where I'm coming from? But surprisingly, there was police officers. And if you read very well, he said, Judge, why did you bring one with uniform? You understand? And we are not told by Chief Shkwaga the end result of those police officers. What did they do after? If there was anything to do with the rape allegation, what did they do after? You understand where, where, where I'm coming from? So that's why I'm saying, he's a, he's, he's, he, I think he has wisdom. He's so wise. But it's not clear why he brought these two people to his homestead and together with the police officers. If he wanted to assist the two as Sekuru, so they, it raised eyebrows. It raised eyebrows. But at the end of the day, extortion it is, is something to do with intimidation. It's something to do with inducing fear in someone so that you can take whatever you want to take from that person. And don't forget that by bringing police officers, that's why maybe Prophet Tifred tried to go back because in his mind there was fear which he was being induced. There was some sort of intimidation. You need to understand that. And in his mind he's saying, if there are police officers, why are they here? Not at the police station. Why did they not call him to come to the police station? Why coming to this place? Why is it something which is uh, sick and died? Because if, you, if, if the police officers want, if they want you for, for a certain uh, uh, crime, they don't do sick and died game. They just call you, we want you here. If you don't come, they will come after you. Not at some what is the homestead. They will come after you, they will look for you. So, you need to also to understand what is extortion. Extortion has to do with fear. It has to do with intimidation. It has to do with threats. If you don't do this, I'll do that. If you don't do this, I'll do that. So in order to get something from that person, you need to, you, you, know, you, you, you want to benefit something from that person. That's extortion. Maybe, so, maybe in your own view, was the uh, reporting to uh, the police uh, the, best, the best option for, for property production? Uh, noting that uh, as, 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 as a claim, it then uh, raises so many questions. We need to understand something. Uh, prophets are also human beings. They are also sinners. That's why they pray every day. We need to understand that. And you also need to understand uh, that when one goes to the public, I think the pressure is too much. It's just too much. And the only way to do it, I believe he tried, he tried to, to resolve this matter amicably. I believe so. But if the pressure is too much, you don't put the law into your own hands. You have to go to the police station and report the matter. If surely there is a crime being committed, you don't put the law into your own hands. Even if you are a prophet, you are under the laws of Zimbabwe. You go to the police station and report the matter. And that's why I said, you know what? Extortion things, people will look at one's weakness. Because as a prophet, your, your biggest weakness is the public. If there's something which is initiative, there's something which is bad, you don't want that to go on, on, on public. But if you find someone going to the public as a prophet, I, you should understand. That's the last resort. That's the last resort.